Hello everybody, my name is Nettie. Welcome back to another episode of Math Father. Last time, a curse befell my beautiful, awesome, man massive mansion that everyone can relate to. And now I have to do the overcomplicated, tedious job of saving my father from a curse that he kind of started. And today we'll do just that because I'm a goody two-shoes. <laughs> can you tell I'm a little jealous? Ugh. Honestly, even if I... Uh, oh dear. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh. That was ceremonious. Yeah. Strange noise in the second floor west hallway. Oh! Jeez! Jeez! Brutal. <laughs> uh, how do I get past her? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. I got, I need to get wire and a tattered cloth. So that would probably be in this room. I'm not going back in there, at least not for a while. Okay, I need to get... A wire, a... What's it called? Cloth, firewood, and wire. I'm pretty sure I know where I can get the cloth. There is a archives down here somewhere, right? Here? Well, not archives, reception? Not reception. What? I'm lost. <laughs> I'm always lost. Head down. And maybe in this door instead. Yeah, the changing room. I'm sure I can use the dagger on you. Got cloth. Now it really is a waste of linen. I know I tore it up, but nobody should get mad, right? Oh, somebody will get mad. Very mad. Enough out of you. Then there's the bathroom with all its problems. Did I get the thing in the tub? Oh, that reminds me. I grabbed the pendant not too long ago. I should probably hand that over to the child. Ooh, it's locked. Darn. Thought I was on to something. Oh! Rude! <laughs> oh, I saw this doll. <laughs> she just nods her head. Unbelievable. Back to the nursery. Uh, no, I need to be in Dad's room. At least our rooms are right next to each other. Hey, uh, come back. How do I get you to come back? Um... Uh, I, um... No. Probably back in the archives then, isn't it? Or... Doll room? No. I'm gonna get beat up if I go back in there. I found them in here, didn't I? Yeah. No. The remains of a tattered dress. Now I need some wire. I could probably get wire from the kitchen, I presume. <laughs> I don't want to go back in there. What a massive home. Back in the kitchen, or at least we're in the cafeteria right now. And here should be some wire, right? I where does where would one keep their wire? I'm just thinking we steal it off of something. Like one of the packagings or something. What was that? Ah 
secrets. Yikes, it's pitch black. I can't go down there. Investigate storehouse. Uh, how do I get past the dog? Is there any wires here? No. Where does one get a wire? Make our way... Hmm. Ah, you guys again. Don't you hate it when you wake up and your health bar shows up? Stresses me out, at least. See, there, I just... <laughs> Saw something when I walked past here. I think it was probably the grandfather's clock, wasn't it? Yeah. Back in the reception room, maybe? The things burn fiercely. No. And I can't push it. I can only get on it. Where is the wire? Oh, I think every time I walk there, it triggers them. Oh. Uh -huh. Hmm. Now, where do I go from here? Oh, oh no, what happened to you? It looks like just <laughs> a life-size doll. It looks as if it was were a real corpse. <laughs> That's what you get for tripping people. See, meanies never prosper. It's locked. Uh, oh, the code key. I can use that code in father's room. <laughs> I get to be mean. She was mean to me first. Tripping me on prompted like that. Okay. Item, code memo. Chandeliers in the entrance hall, changing room hats, bathroom planters, red dolls in doll rooms, and the barrels in the cafeteria. Ew. Uh, well, there's four there. Does it save? I like it. Okay, it saves the four, and I need to go... What is it again? Change your room hats plus the black bathroom planters. Wow. What's that? Oh, and here I need to count something as well, don't I? Red dolls in doll room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Yeah, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, eight dolls. I'm gonna forget that, so I'm gonna go right back and fill it in. I know it's four chandeliers. Uh, so four, eight, and then we do need to find the other two. We need to go to the bathroom and then another place. Still can't go in there. I keep trying though. Code memo. Bathroom planters. One, two, three. Just three. Pretty sure it's just three. Yeah. And it was, so it's gonna be three plus changing room hats. One, two, three, four, five. Look like there's five hats. Oh, you can count. Oh, but you don't count for anything else. Fine, uh, so 488. Haha. Uh -huh. Wrong room.
And then the last one I need to get is barrels in the cafeteria. Easy enough. We just head downstairs. Bench and entrance. We'll circle back into here. Oh wait, no, no, it's cafeteria. Cafeteria is right over here though. Wait, it was barrels in cafeteria, right? Yeah, so 4880. Oh, I came down here for nothing. I think it's to trick you because you come into the kitchen and you start counting, but it's nothing. Sneaky, though. Make our way back up and back into father's room. That should be right, right? That doesn't seem to be the right code. Excuse me? Oh, mine is the best. <laughs> Oops. Uh. Four, two, eight, zero. Yeah. Look at that. Mathematician. It contains mom's belongings. I can smell mom's scent. There's a lamp in here. It's pretty dark, so it'd be nice to have a light. Just borrowing this, mom. Got the lamp. Mom's perfume. Is he still at work? Uh, you, Maria. Doctor. Eh? Father? Aya, ah, yeah, there you are. Doesn't your father always tell you not to go into the basement? But mom... I knew it! He's cheating on me with her! I can't believe this. Some girl he picked up off the street! Ugh, this stupid thing! Mom's usually so nice, but that day, it was like a different person. This perfume, I put it back on her dresser after that, but... But she took care of it. That's good. After all, Mom got this from Father on their anniversary. I'll take it as a good luck charm. Alright, Mom? Hey, hey, what are there other things in there? I... What was that? Hey! <laughs> oh, oh uh, down, down, and right. Right, up, right, down, left. Oh, down, uh, oh, shoot. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm bad at this. Don't die, kid. So rude. Can I do it again? <laughs> oh, I can get back here. I'm just not good at it. How do I go about? Oh, well. Okay, what's next on our to-do list? Investigate the storehouse, and I still need to get that wire. But now that I have a torch, I should be able to go down there. Oh, poor you. Make our way down the stairs again. Probably summon those lamos. Into the kitchen. Ignoring the zombie dog. Oops. Just go down. There we go. Yikes, it's pitch black. Oh, the lamp! Investigate the storehouse. A hole in the wall. I couldn't fit in there. Let's see. The objects inside are blocking the door. Not quite. But. Oh dear. The 
Potatoes. No. Okay, make our way back up the stairs. I think I got an idea. I may not be able to fit, but I know somebody cute and fluffy who can. Snowball, do my bidding. Hold on. Ah. All right. Do your job. Here, Snowball. Snowball fl loves father too, don't you? Snowball! Snowball! Where are you? And when your legs hurt too, what do I do? Snowball! Where did you get to? I was so worried when you disappeared. I couldn't wrap up that wound with you running around. Wait, huh? Your wound's healed. Phew. What a troublesome rabbit. Father! I, uh, try not to let Snowball out of your sight, will you? The rabbit made the mess of the kitchen. Sorry, Father. Snowball must have been trying to get it by Maria's cooking again, huh? Did you find Snowball, Father? Yes, and fucked up that leg while I was at it. Good thing Father's around, huh, Snowball? Thank you, Father. Snowball's part of the family. Treated as well as any other. Yeah. Let's go save father together. You got Snowball. Oh, I was hoping I get to actually carry him around all the time. There's a dead cat inside. Anyways, how are you doing? Doing fine? Doing fine? Oh yeah, make your bed. Ugh. Ah, no matter. Snowball, you're coming with me. You got a job to do and you better do it right. You only get one shot at this. If you blow it, then you blow it. This is the bathroom. All right, Snowball. New rule. You do not get to make fun of me at any point in time ever, okay? I may be directionless, but I'm still your owner. Open this once more. Go down to the storeroom. Snowball, get in there. Snowball might be able to fit in this hole. Weaponize the rabbit. Please, Snowball. Oh yeah, live bunny gameplay. Riveting. Got wire. Collected all the materials. There was something looking at me. No! Snowball! Uh, oh. Doing fine. Don't worry about all this stuff falling. It's not a big deal. And there he goes. <laughs> Oh. The opposite side is still blocking the door. <gasps> oh no, the light went out. Why won't it work? Please. Was someone behind me? Just imagining it. Uh, Snowball, please don't tell me you got eaten by that dog. Give me the wire. Head out this way. Maybe that was a little convoluted of me. You're back here, right? Or did I actually get the wire? Yeah, you're back here. Snowball's relaxing. Yeah, I'll pet you. You did a great job fighting off that wine monster thing. Really great on your part. Oh yeah, I got it. Okay. Got a torch. New mission, light the torch. And that can be done in the archive? 
I think. Pretty sure. No, I'm thinking of reception. I'm sorry. We'll head down to reception then. Yes, a fire. Item, torch. It's not burning well. The cloth needs to be soaked in oil. Now, where would there be oil? You can find oil in your super massive kitchen with your super massive stock storage. Unlike me, who just ran out of rice the other day. Must be. Your life is so dang hard, I, uh... I mean, I guess I, I don't have to wonder and worry about a curse, so at least there's that. <laughs> Soaked it with oil. There you go, my little fire starter. And let's go crazy. Back to reception. I haven't saved in a while. I should probably do that. Right down there. Perfect. The flame burns fiercely. We'll grab our torch. <laughs> I better not, that's dangerous. No, start a fire in the house. Carry a giant torch around the house, that's perfectly fine. That is bright. Head to underground lab. <laughs> Say no more. Dean Vato. Mode? Sorry, I don't speak German. <laughs> I'm sure it's something very serious. A pile of discarded dolls blocks away. Burn the dolls? Yes, yes! Burn it! Burn it! Ow, my eyes! It burns! It burns! It hurts! Help me! Just, that's a charred pile of steam on the ground. Yeesh. A suit covered drum that smells of burnt oil. Oh wow, that sucks. Next time you guys want to do a roadblock, make sure there's no oil underneath you guys. Just a pro tip. Tools for experiments. More tools? Eerie objects stuffed into bottles. Sorry? Oh. How cute! Is it a boy or a girl? And is it legal? Ooh. I got the bottle of eyeballs. Uh oh. Hey. You stop that. Somebody broke loose. Nothing there. Further into the lab. Laboratory. Oh wait, I forgot to save. Probably should have. <laughs> Maria! Mistress. You're wounded. Ah, uh, but I will be fine. Forget me. Escape somewhere safe. It is dangerous here. Where's father? I heard his, him scream from my room. That's right. I must save the doctor. Uh, oh. You can't go on like that. But, Maria, what happened to father? The doctor is further in. His wife, she... His wife? My mom? What do you mean, Maria? Maria! My, it seems she passed out. You again. At any rate, sounds like your father has gone on ahead. Deeper into the underground maze. What did Maria see? Mom passed away, right? What's going on here? Don't tell me the curse affected her, too. You'll only be able to confirm your suspicions by pressing on, won't you?
What a weird guy. <laughs> she fainted. All right, first things first. Bird, do your bird thing. Nicely done, bird. What now? So many goodies here. Can't grab anything, though. Your dad spent all his time working on human experimentation when he could have been learning how to make a ray gun? Unbelievable. Men. Ugh. They just don't see the finer details in life. Father! Mom? Is that you, Mom? Wait! No way. Was that really Mom? There's no way I mistook her. That was Mom. So even Mom is... It must be the curse, right? Haven't you noticed? Oh, it's you again. <clears throat> This tragedy was brought about by the power of a woman's curse. The malice toward your father. Because he wouldn't make a ray gun. He would rather do human experimentation. I don't blame the lady. Look, women, we like the finer things of life. We like to set fires, own a ray gun, maybe have a couple of swords, and uh, 6,000 plushies. And some reason, guys just don't understand that. Unbelievable. Just... <sighs> Ogre, you just don't understand. That malice transformed into a curse, seeking out your father's death. Could that woman be? So you do realize? Yes, your mother. That can't be right. Why do you think that? Because mom loved father. She even understood his work, and he loved her back. Wasn't mom happy? I couldn't believe she has a grudge against father. But maybe mom didn't like father being with Maria. I don't want it to be true. But... So, you'll go find the truth? Hey, wait! Mom? Hate father? That can't be right. She promised. We're going... We're going right back, Missy, because... Oh. There's a gem here. 8 out of 20. Where is body? Head looking for body in mortuary. <laughs> How unsightly. Oh. Not quite. Uh. <laughs> I mean, try not to get a ahead of yourself. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. It's not very funny, is it? Okay, let's press on. Oh, hey. Uh, are you, uh, thinking ahead? <laughs> Sorry, I only have one joke, really. Found it. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks, missus. Oh, and he's done. And we got a gem for our troubles. Um... Good night. Please put the blanket over you. It's getting cold in here. The doorway is firmly shut. I can't see. Can't see. Can't see anything. That man took away my eyes. Help girl who lost her eyes. She's looking for eyes? Uh. Oh, man. You know, it really suck. I mean... I got like four eyes on me right now. Counting the ones in my head. But you can't have that. Hi. Wooden barricade blocks the way. In here? Another wooden barricade. I don't like the sounds of that. Where am I? Uh, it's Q. 
excuse you, I just want to save. Yes, I will. And you? A doll wearing strange clothes. Oh, don't be rude. Charm Encyclopedia. Good luck charms. You want the ones that you love to be happy. For this, a good luck charm does the trick. All you need is one thing. And this you must have. It is love. Kiss someone's forehead with love and say a blessing. Then a spell of good luck will be cast upon them. Isn't that wonderful? Aww. Can't go there. Why to take a nap? Anything past this point? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, the metal fittings make this difficult to break. Carefully make our way back up. What's here? A strong impact could break it. Something's shining in the barrel. Uh oh. Pile of bar barrels. Destroying them seems dangerous. Yes. Yes, destruction. Down the stairs and. It's a chainsaw. I remember father scolding me for playing with this once. Aya, what are you doing with that? Sorry, father. This is no toy. It's a very dangerous tool. Understood? Never play with anything like this again. Sorry, father. I'm glad you're not hurt. It's, it is odd, though. I thought that this puts us away somewhere that was out of your reach. Where on earth did you find this, Aya? Sorry. I'm sorry, father. <sighs> Got the mini chainsaw. Whenever you have the chainsaw, you can press the special button to activate it. Indicates chainsaw is usable. Use the chainsaw when facing certain objects, barrels, empty crates to destroy them. You cannot attack enemies with it. Special button C or shift. I'm not playing on keyboard. I think there was something I could destroy with this chainsaw. Oh yeah. Woo, go violence! And just like that, in a uh, typical girl fashion. <laughs> Can I get this to that girl somehow? That's what I was trying to do. But I got a gem instead. So on that note, I'm going to end the episode right there. I'm so glad we finally get to be a little bit violent. Unfortunately, not against the dolls. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, any input on how I can improve is greatly appreciated. That being said, I hope you guys have a great day or you guys have a great night and I will see you next time. Bye bye now.